Professor Geoffrey Rahungu there, the Director General of the National Environmental Management Authority, speaking about the upcoming World Environment Day. Well, let's shift attention and talk matters energy now. Kenya's quest to harvest cheap power from wind is slowly but surely taking shape as the Lake Trukana Wind Power Company runs ahead of schedule in setting up wind turbines for the 310 megawatt plant. The company aims to be up and running by July next year with phase one of the project expected to inject the first 90 megawatts of wind power into the national grid by September this year. Our reporter Philip Kitani visited the site and brings us the following report. Located in Sarima village 10 kilometers from the shores of Lake Trukana is home to the most ambitious infrastructure development project carried out in northern Kenya since independence. On arrival, we are welcomed by the general manager Philip Leferink who gave us a tour of the site. Uh, we are building uh, 365 turbines, um, V52, 850 kilowatts, uh, which in the end uh, will produce about 17 to 18 percent of uh, Kenya's total generation capacity. The Lake Trukana Wind Power Project is the single largest private investment in Kenya's history. The wind farm covers 40,000 acres or 162 square kilometers at the moment. 44 turbines are already up. We are a little bit ahead of schedule as we speak today. Um, and we are looking to, uh, to be ready for the first uh, dispatch of power uh, towards the uh, last quarter of 2016. When complete, the 70 billion shillings wind farm project aims at providing 310 megawatts of reliable low-cost wind power to Kenya's national grid, equivalent to approximately 18% of the country's current installed electricity generating capacity. Once, uh, once the project is uh, fully online, uh, we have 310 megawatts installed. Uh, we are producing power which is sufficient to feed power to about 1 million Kenyan households. The power produced will be bought by a fixed price by the Kenya Power over a 20-year period in accordance to the power purchase agreement with the latter. And we have looked at the wind resource, analyzed it for many years, and uh, we came to the conclusion that uh, in the configuration as we have today, on the scale we have today, that a project benefiting the country and also benefiting the investors, of course, uh, could be realized. Electricity from the Marsabit Bay's wind farm will cost 8 shillings and 6 cents per unit or half that of the diesel generators. The full 110 megawatts capacity of the power generation project to be delivered by 365 wind turbines is expected to be in place by June 2017. The challenge we, uh, we primarily uh, see today during construction is exactly the benefit we are looking for, strong winds. Uh, during construction, that is actually quite challenging. We need to lift uh, big pieces quite, uh, quite high. Uh, that actually sometimes is challenging with the strong winds we have on this site. Upon its completion in 2017, Google will acquire Vesta's 12.5% stake in Africa's largest wind park. Google Investment is a leading example of companies investing in wind energy globally to achieve attractive financial returns and scale development of renewable energy. The Electrocana wind power project is expected to have 365 wind turbines and with 44 already up, the project owners are promising that the remaining 321 will be up and running by July next year. Philip Kitan, KTN News.